Now that we have the SharePoint site created and the list that we need for it, the next step is to create a Power App that you can use to interact with your content. Now you could use the app, but seeing as we have the SharePoint list open and showing here, then you can click on Create an App from directly from the SharePoint list itself. We'll call that Daily Task Demo. And what this does then is open a new tab with the Power Apps web browser-based studio set enabled there. You can see that it will create the app. You could have used the Windows 10 app, as you see as I have open down there, and create a new blank app, connect it up to various services. You could connect it up from there to the SharePoint list. But I find that if you have a SharePoint list already created, it's much easier to go straight through the, the setup there. And you'll see that within about a minute, you have an app, creates three screens as it shows there, a browse screen, a detail screen, and an edit screen that you can use to interact with your content. And once you have that app that's opened, you can then start to interact with that. So for example, here you can see the browse screen showing a list of the tasks, and you could maybe make these a, li a little bit larger and play around with the different content. You can also, once you've ready with that, let's just come back to the main screen, you can then view what your app will look like once it's created. So you can see the list of items there, and you can even drill into the C, view the detail of it, and then edit it as well. So add completed toggle, for example. Click on save. You'll see the dots going across, showing that it's writing back to the server. And you can see the items there. It's added a refresh button, the sort. You even have the capability to filter on it um, through a search box there. So what we'll do next is start to explore into the different capabilities that you have with this Power App.